God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene. First of all, if you saw this video and you didn't see the one before, you have to because I washed my hair and I used a leave-in for the first time. Blue Imagine Argan Oil, bomb.com, but don't just take my word for it. Watch the video for yourself. Now that my hair is nice and split, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I am going to use a Blue Magic Grease, which I know you guys can't see what I did. Hmm. Now, before I actually geared up to do this video, I was like, I wonder which one shall I use? Hmm. So, apparently, I had got a lot of slack for what I ranked this one in my listing and this is the blue magic originals and then hemp with green tea leaves jojoba oil aloe and safflower so i said you know what well my husband and tan it up he loved this one and like i said when i met him he had this one tan it up <laughs> so i these are very similar to me um even down to the ingredients I honestly, I'm just like, they wanted the same to me, except for probably just, I'm not fat, yeah, that's what we looked into, the placement of the ingredients. But this one says less breakage means longer hair. This one means, oh, this one says with herbs, you can actually see, which I'm like, okay. So maybe they just couldn't, I don't know. <laughs> Let me see here. I'm seeing like the exact same ingredients with the exception of shea butter in here. But I'm willing to try. Let, let's get into it, okay? This is the Indian hemp. We're going to try it. We're going to put it on my hair. Because one thing about it, now this is what I'm going to say for the naysayers. I will use any Blue Magic product at least once. And for me, let me make sure I get my splits right. I'm going back to my plaques because I don't know. I had a whole lot of breakage. Uh, I mean, well, a whole lot of, yeah, breakage and stuff, which I know that is not necessarily. Is that even? I can't even see. Is that even? <laughs> I be trying, y'all. Like, eh. Hello, let me see. Sorry, go ahead. Hold on. Drop combs and stuff. Um, like I said, I try any uh blue magic product. Like, I do not discriminate in that way. Like, oh my goodness, this one is going to be trash. Like, I, that's not my thought. That's not my process. I think. Hold up. I think what happens a lot, especially in the natural hair community you get judged for your preference and that's even in real life i'm like hold up you mean to tell me that i can't like one over the other like what in the world don't you got a preference don't you gotta like but it's just the world we live in like people really be coming at you sideways for your preferences but yeah i'm gonna try to use this all month that's the thing i said whatever blue magic i'm gonna use is gonna be the one i used for the entire month so for the month of March, any wash days I have, any refreshers, any restyles, any retwists or whatever, which I got to hurry up even now because my hair is getting dry and it start to take off when my pores are start to um, embrace each other, hug. They're starting to hug. I don't want to make it seem like it's something negative, but you know. Okay, so. I just put the, like I said, the leave-in worked really well. But when my hair dries, they hug each other. So I got to hurry up. We already know what the texture and the consistency looks like. As a matter of fact, let's do this. Let's do this. There you go. Um, To me, this one feels less smoother than like the blue one. And it might just be because of the pieces. So I'm not going to say that it's any rougher or less quality because of that um 
there's green tea leaves in here. Um, so, which a lot of people say that that's why they don't like it because of the pieces. I ain't gonna lie, it kind of bothers me too. Um, however, I never was in a predicament or situation where I felt like they're in my hair, like just staying there. If that's your fear, then please don't have that fear. Like, uh, even when I was using the Super Sure Grow, I didn't have that issue. But I want to believe, I hope to believe that my hair loves any of these. Like, it doesn't matter what the, um, it doesn't matter what the, ingredients are or which brand it is or what i just I, I like to believe that my hair is gonna love them all and they do i haven't had a bad incident with any of the blue magics i haven't had like any hair shed or my hair falling out or anything of that nature at all so back to my plaits back to my plaits And y'all, I was sitting here trying to think. I'm like, oh man, we got to do, uh, we got Bible study tonight. And normally I do this on a day where I know I don't have to go anywhere. But I don't see myself feeling like doing this tomorrow either. Like it's Friday. Like I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to go nowhere and I don't want to do nothing. Um, which I got a feeling I'm going to have to go somewhere anyway. That's just how it is. But at least I got a little moment now to take care of this. So I'm going to do my plaits. As you can see, nice and smooth, a little messy, but it'll go away. And it'll go away a lot faster than you think. And even sometimes, let me show you here. Sometimes you can just go ahead and nip it in the bud if you want to. Um, either your hair will absorb it and then some of it will go into the air. Or you can just do what I do sometimes and I just... Go ahead and wipe my hands on it and get rid of that excess like that. And I got a ponytail. Oh, I got a plait or braid, whatever you want to call it. But um, I would wear my hair out in public like this, but people already say I look young. And as fat, fat, flattering as that is, um... I don't want to look like I don't have kids or like I shouldn't have kids. Um, not in no bad way because I was a teen mom, technically, I guess you could say. Um, I got pregnant at 17, but I turned 18 before she was born. But um, yeah, there comes a point in life where you want to at least look mature, I guess. Is that what I'm trying to say? Like, there's nothing wrong with looking like, looking youthful. But you want to, I want to look grown. Like, I don't want to look like a child, especially because I have an older husband and we be out and stuff. I ain't trying to have that. Nobody giving him the look. Like, hold up, brother. What you doing with her? <laughs> Which I don't think my husband look his age. He's 39 years old. And I don't think he look his age. He's six years old. Yes. Uh, six years older than I. This year... He's going to be 40 <laughs> and I'm going to be uh, 34. That is just too cool. <laughs> um, I've been picking it all here about our age difference for our entire relationship. And y'all, we've been together for going on seven years, six years married, um, May 1st. My mind went, I'm sorry, I hear something thumping. And I'm like, I know ain't nobody here visiting me because nobody really comes back here. I think Jason's patting his feet. He's on the floor like that. Um, Y'all know what I mean. Paddling, paddling his feet, which I'm about to go tell him stop because fell asleep. And I feel like he's deviously trying to wake her. So, and then I, my fear is, because sometimes this happens too, when I leave out of here to go tell him something, she wakes up. Da, da, da. I don't know if I see, y'all guys probably don't even hear it. <gasps> my hair is drying. Oh, no, I 
he's too loud. I gotta go. Okay, I'm gonna come back. I'm sorry. That's my piece. Yes. My hair with the uh Indian hemp. Ta da! My son, my son. Look at my hair drying up. I gotta hurry up. Cause you're making noise. Okay. I went, I attempt um, between my last video and this video to, jeez, uh, to uh, re-split my hair, like down the middle, and I feel like I made it worse. My side split seems to just default lead into submission, like on this side, well, on my, either one of my sides, like. Sometimes I second guess it and I'll mess it up. But for the most part, as you can see, it's a clean split, which I like and I appreciate. But, um, where's my hair pieces? Oh, there you go. It's like a race against time because I need to help and do this before Bella wakes up because Jace is content to a certain extent like i remember when he was that age and i used to do videos he could just sit on the floor and play with a toy and he might make some noise every now and again he might come and look and see but she gotta be like hold me hold me mom and i'm just like you're still doing something oh no i guess that's the girl <sighs> that's the girl version of the baby versus the boy i don't know i know a lot of people say the boy is clingy, which I feel like he is. But like I said, he was content just being in the same room as I. That's not enough of Bella. She got to be in my lap. <sighs> but um, as far as, because I want to vlog a little bit, but at the same time, I don't. Because I, felt, I feel like that kind of organizes their youth a little bit. Like, hey, we're family, right? Versus... Um, just whatever, do whatever, do whatever, feel whatever, play however, be whatever. I feel like it's a complete difference between those two things, even though, um, as much as possible, people try to make it norm. It's not norm for cameras and phones to be up recording your babies a lot. That's not normal life. That shouldn't be normal behavior. Like there should be some type of balance. And it's hard to do, especially when you got a goal in mind of what you're trying to film for how long and this, that, and the third. And I don't want my kids growing up thinking that's normal per se. Like, I want them to be versatile. I don't want them to be camera shy, nothing like that. But I want them to know and understand what it means to have privacy. And I also want them to know and understand what it means to have a choice per se, not saying let my kids take over my life but um a lot of people don't like being filmed a lot of people don't like pictures a lot of people don't like being on the scene um they they don't like any of that stuff now jace so far is loving it <laughs> he seems to love it from day one he's even he be walking around here acting like he's on youtube um but it, as long if i can help it he won't be on a YouTube channel, like having his own per se, um, until maybe a teenager, if he still is interested in and maybe, but right now I just want him to really enjoy his youth. And, um, yeah. And like I said, with Bella, she ain't got no choice, but enjoy her youth because that's all she want to do. <laughs> she ain't, I mean, she do like taking pictures per se. She like playing, she likes seeing you smile and this, that, and third. But um, after a while, she's just like, get out of my face. <laughs> I just want you. She needs to be really family-oriented. She loves being, um, she loves hugs. She loves being held. She loves silly faces. Um, you know, all the little goo-goo gaga stuff. That's her. Ooh, don't let your hair get dry between the leave-in and the hair grease, please. <laughs> oh, this makes this uh so much longer and so much harder but let me just wrap this up i love blue magic grease i don't hate this one 
I just, I don't know. It's just not my favorite, obviously. And look how many options you have. Like, look, look at all them white tops. Like, you pick and choose which one you like. Don't worry about the world. Don't worry about other people out there. Just, there's a blue magic for you. How about that? Let's just end it on that. There's one for you. There's, blue, there's a blue magic for everybody. Everybody get a blue magic. You get a blue magic. I get a blue magic. We all get blue magic. I hate this chair making all this noise. Like, you're fat. Get off me. Which I need to update you guys on that too. It's a lot. A lot to be discussed. But a lot was going on too. February was a really, 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 really serious, busy month. Last month. All right. Um, does anybody else feel exactly like me? Like, they feel like the Indian Hill one is toward the bottom of the list. Like, let's just be honest. Like, let's be able to uh, discuss our opinions and stuff without the side marks and the slick comments and the ridiculing and the nitpicking. Like, let's just express yourself. Express yourself in the comment section. Like, do you have a least favorite blue magic? Do you have a least favorite grease all together? Like, do you have a grease that's just like, uh, it'll do, but it just ain't it. Let me know in the comment section. Um, you won't hurt my feelings, trust me, about which one you like or don't like. I'm not that type of person. And I hope and pray I don't give off that impression, which is why I'm surprised that I get it. Um, you know, because I don't give it, I don't think. I mean, I guess having the preference of blue magic in itself could get on people's nerves. But it's grease and it's for the hair and skin. And I got to update that. Oh, I got so much to update you guys on. It's going to be a lot of videos and this t-shirt. Forgive me. Because I don't feel like, well, I guess I could change now. Because now my hair is done. All right, y'all. Let me my hands one more time. That's the end. This is the result. Hopefully you'll get one, at least one of these videos. Well, you gotta get the uh, leave-in one, the day of the actual date that I'm filming this, and then maybe the next day get the next one. But um, yeah. Excuse the lighting too. My light bulb went out. This is my hair. That's what it looks like. Nice and stretched. Nice and detangled. Blue magic leave-in. Blue magic grease. Tell me what you guys think. I just got to do that one time. <laughs> ah! Oh, let me put my top on. Yes. <laughs> Love you guys. God bless. Take care.